the, the, the visitor, as many know him, is called Mr. Terence Howard, a renowned Hollywood actor. I am not so fam I am not known for understanding the whole <laughs> entertainment industry, but actually I realize that those who follow know him much more and they know what they enjoy about his uh, acting and, and, and films and movies he has been able to participate in. He is uh, quite a known figure. But that's not the point in, in this case. What's important is that he loves Uganda. I met him about a year plus so in the States through some friends and he he had a dream of visiting one or two destinations in Africa he, in addition to South Africa where he's been by virtue of his acting role as many of you know. So I encouraged him. I encouraged him to visit Uganda. I offered to host him. I offered to so I really encouraged him and I was able to showcase to him what awaits him, the culture, the people, the flora and fauna of our country. So he, he loved it. So he's a man who likes to explore. He's a man who has a philosophy of, he, he even goes beyond to define how nature and man are interconnected. So I really encouraged him from that relationship to visit Uganda. And I'm really happy he's been able to visit. And I really appeal to, to Ugandans to value such things. Countries hire celebs. They hire them, big money, to come and put on their brand uh, attire. They bring them, they touch charter planes for them. But to get somebody who comes and chooses our place as, as, as a destination for his safari, so to me it was, was good. So we've been able to bring him, we've been able to, to, to show him uh, the Ugandan people, we went through Uganda Road, they enjoyed our, our, our crafts of our young ladies, we took him through Mbarara, he was able to see our Ankore cow, he's, he's, he had never seen the cows, he was wowed by the horns, we came to the jungle here and he was able to track the chimpanzees, uh, his time couldn't allow, we would have taken him to the mountain gorillas, but most importantly, he was able to go and get cultural integration into the Toro Kingdom. I want to thank our king, Rukira Basaja Oyokanya Bambi Guru, for giving him the name, a, a petty name of Arari and his wife, uh, Abori, accordingly. So really, it's these people who love our country that will help us to sell Uganda. When we get more tourists, friends, tourists come because somebody has referred to them a destination. Sources of information can be through marketing, through online, or through referral. And let's not believe that this is a responsibility of UTB alone. I am a minister of agriculture. Who will eat my farmer's eggs and buy them if the lodges are having flopped bookings? If all the lodges around our parks only we are having, let's say, 60% occupancy for more than half of the year. No farmer, no farmer would fail to sell a tray of eggs at 10,000 and above. We would have no eggs to sell to Kenya. So when tourism wins, everybody wins. The whole ecosystem of livelihood wins. That's why some people are asking, what, what is the interest of the Ministry of Agriculture in tourism? Yes, I, I happen to have a personal interest. Uh, but also, the, the, the sector I lead, the sector I lead of agriculture, for the value chain to be complete, and the completion ends with the marketing component, it is through exposing our country. It's through having more traffic of visitors. So really, I want to thank our president for creating a peaceful environment for creating a peaceful environment that people can come here, walk on the street, down Buganda Road, without any threat of urban terrorism. They can come and go to the parks without any threat of this and that. This is the, the narrative all of us as Ugandans ought to sell. Our contradictions, our small political differences notwithstanding, every country, every country has got its own internal politics. When you go to America, the Democrats, the Republicans are fighting. But when it comes to speaking for America, 
It's the security of America. They all stand up as one. They, they say, quarrel with your government, don't quarrel with your country. So really, saving our country, the beauty of our country, is a universal winning strategy for everybody. I will do this whether I'm in government or outside government tomorrow, and I believe it is the way to empower the future. It is the way to create jobs. You can't create jobs if you're not selling enough. And to sell enough, you must market. He actually didn't come here to seek investment. <laughs> we invited him here to tour the country. So as he, as he was having a conversation with the president, the president asked him about his passion. The president believed that his whole life has been acting. Then he, he happens to have a very interesting, controversial ideas. He's, he's, he, he has a passion for technology. So he started, he started com, com, narrating the patents he has won in science and technology, the innovations he's working on, which he believes would be a cheaper, a cheaper form or option to drones. So if people want to criticize that idea, I wish they can criticize him from a point of knowledge. So, so he didn't come here to, to vend anything. He just came here and he told the president, wow, I would be glad to introduce my technology here. Now, introducing technology, I know a little bit about it because I was a minister of ICT. Nothing is commercialized until there is a proof of concept. Nothing. No app can be, can be deployed <laughs> to the market unless it solves the problem. So, so sometimes people jump on things either out of ignorance or, or perhaps not understanding the bigger picture of our country. Yes. So when you say many people come here to invest, they don't go back, maybe find out. Maybe are we doing enough to retain them? Are we doing it? But we also have investors. How come you hear Ugandans complaining that investments in Uganda are dominated by foreigners? How come? Yes. Of course, they, there is this perennial accusation of, of partisan politicians that the president favors investors, this and that. I think he's articulated it time and again. His philosophy, which I believe in, is that when a foreigner comes here, builds a hotel, builds a factory, it's no longer an Indian factory or Chinese factory. It's a Ugandan factory. It pays taxes to the government treasury. It employs Ugandans. Knowledge transfer is here. So why don't, we, why don't we discuss more on how to leverage what comes in rather than what has not come in? I know people have talked about Acorn and others and others. Maybe let's find out. Why have they not come? Isn't it? Why have they not come? What can we do most to retain them than talking most to condemn them as if they had a duty to do us a favor? <laughs> they didn't do us a favor. Yes. So if Terence Howard, for me, my interest, comes and visits Chibari Forest, okay, everybody knows, all of his followers knew that he was here. Yes. You can go and check out his Instagram uh, posts and see somebody who has millions of following. So, so really, we, we shouldn't uh, be diverted by, by political, political gimmicks. You get, these people are here. What have they taken? Icon came here. What did he take? They, what have they taken? The food they've eaten here? You see, so really we have to look at the bigger picture. How will you sell your country? I want to challenge those, especially the opposition, because when you follow Twitter, people who create this controversy are people opposed to NRM government. So what's their strategy to selling our country? What is their strategy to selling our country. Let them tell us. If you don't expose it to whoever is able to, to spread the word. Why are people hiring celebs, news anchors? If this same man, Terence Howard, had gone to a neighboring country, and I say this with emphatically, if this same man had gone to a neighboring country, the same people trying to vulgarize his visit would be, would be there now, huh? Uh, hyping how that country is strategic, how they care about their tourism. I think those people need to be told that uh, let them do whatever they can afford. Let others also do what they can. 
I have no apology at all with inviting anybody who can serve my country. Okay? Our cows, our Ankore cows, which we grew up with, you have seen in other countries fetching hundreds of millions. But we sell here a cow maximum if you are, you are you, you as they say you hit a jackpot for the day two million shillings the big cow why because we've not told the beauty the premium beef of our cows the how nutritious the milk of the ankore cows are so me a cow farmer and my father and, and my grandfather you're not doing us any service if you're not giving us an opportunity to sell our lifetime livelihood so really, let's not, let's not concentrate on what divides the country. Let's concentrate on what builds the country. I am urging Ugandans produce, 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 produce. Who would buy what they are producing? Who would buy the vegetables? Who would buy the watermelons? Who would buy the onion use? If lodges, if hotels, okay, are operating at 10% occupancy. Who would pay the collapsing bank loans, the banks? So let's not only enjoy lamenting and wasting time to, to show how things bad are and when somebody is trying to do something then everybody wants to scandalize it. They are here. They are quack investors. They are bogus deals. Ah, this people need it. Is, 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 is a, a Hollywood actor who is paid per, per, per whatever time of money. I'm sure you can Google and know how much they get paid. Are these people desperate to come here and get uh, <laughs> your 100 acres? Is that what they will make them, give them a fortune they have missed? Let's, let's stop kidding, uh, guys. So I am really proud to have been associated with the visit of Mr. Terence Howard. And I'm happy. I want to thank our president for giving him time. Why do we ask the president sometimes to meet such people? To thank them. The president is the chief marketeer of the country. To thank them. To give them confidence. To tell them. Yes. Why do we cheer other presidents when they are hosting uh, ASEAN and others? Why do we? So, fellow Ugandans, let's develop a positive mind. Let's shun negative energy. It won't develop our country. It will neither develop you and me as individuals. Let's get out of self-defeatism. If you are a Ugandan in the diaspora, Bring, bring, bring as many people as you can. I want to thank a Ugandan in California called Damiano. A, a friend of mine in the California called Damiano. He's also involved in, 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 in mobilizing many other people. Another friend called Isaac Chigozi. He's also involved in, in mobilizing other people. Let them come and to our country and see the beauty. I wish they could stay here. Ghana, everybody's praising Ghana. What is Ghana doing? Ghana is positioning their country as the home, as a, a home of, to return to, to the people in the Caribbean, to the black Americans. So really, that's how we shall move a step. And uh, the motivation to do this is nothing else but to contribute to building our country, to contribute to selling of our products. UTB, we are, yeah, this, this came as a private visit. Uh, I want to thank Madame Riri. He, the, the, UTB and UWA facilitated this in terms of permits. Yes. We, the hosts, would have paid the permit fees so that they were able to waive the permits of tracking the gorilla, the, the chimpanzees. Uh, the tourism ED was able to lead the, the to lead Terence Howard in tracking the chimpanzees. She was the chief guide. So I really want to thank her. Yes. So, so, and that's how you complement UTB. UTB is poorly funded. And I, I, will, I will use my voice and my position to advocate for them to be funded more. Because if you are funding UTB, you are indirectly funding me of agriculture. Because they will be able to create a market for my farmers. This I have articulated time and again. So they are in this. They support us. Uh, once in a and of course this is something I do every day when I get a visa about three months ago we had another person called Dean Schneider you may not have known him 
because he didn't want to be publicized. Some people want to come and see Uganda and, uh, and live privately. Yes. There are many other people who come that you may not know. They come in, charter their planes, they go to the parks, and they, and they go. And that's, that's a good given. People admiring our country without us spending in much more. How I wish we could. How I wish we could spend $50 million a year and give it to UTB to market our country. How I wish we could even support you, UBC, and all other news channels to build your capacity to, 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 to reach wherever you can reach and even have a powerful presence online. It all makes Uganda win. It all makes Uganda win. It's a cycle. When a farmer sells, the lodge owner wins. When more lodges are, 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 are being constructed because of the traffic and demand, the manufacturers of, of, of Miteimba and blocks sell. So it's, it's not just about PR. A tour operator, a taxi driver from the airport wins. We really spend a lot of time discussing problems and their consequences. But we rarely give space and attention to discussing what can be done. You try something, it is shot at. You get it? Everything is criticized. You know? Why? When shall we ever do it? So let's do it. By the way, let me tell you, even if an idea fails, that's not condemnation. You can fail, you can struggle, but eventually you win. That's why our president says, mm, what's wrong? You remember when they were attacking him for, I think, giving Shimon land to some people? And he says, mm, what's wrong with taking a school to where they can get big space and operate? Don't you think, if I'm not mistaken, government and the public is benefiting more from the infrastructure at uh, Shimoni, the businesses that are there, yet also Shimoni has coexisted somewhere. So it's, it's, not, it's not really right that we put controversy on everything with our political biases because this failed, this must also fail, then you will never sleep for fearing to dream. Fund UTB. Madam Lydia Jerova is excellent. She knows what to do. Her strategy is superb. Let's give her more support. That's one. But also Ugandans. UTB cannot market Uganda alone. You get it? That's why me, Frank Tumwebazi, in my own capacity, and my interest of marketing our Ankore cows, because I believe they are a beautiful creature, okay? If I am able to spend $3,000 or $5,000 on hosting a guest, okay? Another person should do it. I want to thank my brother Amos Wekesa. He's invested heavily in marketing Uganda. So if we, even you as a journalist, the story you write online, I want to thank the, the, the bloggers, the travel bloggers who write good vibes about Uganda. They are, they are creating jobs for X, Y, Z who are on the street. But you, who feels that highlighting the political controversies, you are not building Uganda. Who doesn't know that people attacked capital here in the in American fault and uh, wanted to overthrow government? Okay? Who doesn't know? But that's not a big story for the Americans. They will still want to tell you how great America is. <laughs> Who doesn't know? Every society, every government, every institution will have the law side. You get it? Yes. Who doesn't know what's happening in Israel or Palestine? You say journalists killed by the Israeli forces. But they still market and everybody believes Israel is the land of blessings. It's a holy land. So why should we really not uh, be proud? We are very peaceful. Look at our streets in Kampala. Compare, compare crime, pickpocketing in Kampala with other cities. I don't have to mention them. We are the best. Kampala, it's really rare. Very rare to, 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 to be robbed in the city. Yes, it's there. Along the bypass, the pockets are there. But when they escalate, the, the, the police is handed to, to attend to them. So let's leverage, let's leverage the big, big wins and sell them to the world. That's how we shall fight unemployment. 
you are not going to solve the problem of unemployment if you are not doing if you are not doing something about it. You're only complaining. There is a famous joke I want to end with here. I don't know whether it's real, but it's famous. That one time, the wife of Karl Marx, you know Karl Marx, a famous economist, who wrote so much about capital. Very, very interesting books, you know, how to make capital, the factors of production and all that. So he would spend a lot of time on the research, on writing the script, proofreading it, and that would really occupy his whole life. And he was able to gain the, you know, being famous and, and to gain the fame. So one time his wife said, darling, oh, how I wish the time you spend on writing about capital, you spend it working that capital we need. That was the wife of Karl Marx. I do not know whether it's a true story, but it's a famous joke. Let me, let me use it because I have no proof about it. But so how I wish the time we use to discount ourselves, uh, to minimize whatever idea we have, to admire other countries and uh, downgrade our own, how I wish we also use that effort and energy to talk about the positive or do something about our own country. It would make us all win whether you are pro the sitting government or you are against it. Thank you.